Hey guys, it's Roy here from rwoko12 and epicdroid.com bringing to you today a how-to video. Today's how-to video is on how to install Remix OS to a USB flash drive. Uh, right here we have a SanDisk 32 gig USB flash drive. As you can see, it's super tiny, but packed inside this little flash drive is a whole lot of awesome. Uh, Remix OS is incredibly cool and I'm excited to show you guys how to get it and how to get it set up on your guys' systems so that you can start running it and experience it, experiencing, see if I can talk, uh, experiencing the joys of Remix OS. So without further ado let's jump on in okay first step is we go to jide.com that's j-i-d-e.com we'll have a link to that in the description uh, jide are the makers of remix os as well as several awesome little tools that are focused around remix os uh, you see it flashing up here real quick but this is the remix I'm sorry, the Jide Remix Mini. Um, it is a mini PC or a Android PC that you can plug into a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, and gives you the ability to be running Android on anywhere you have a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor around. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that today. Today we're going to be focusing on Remix OS for PC. We're going to go ahead and click that option up here at the top. That takes us to this page here. Uh, you can go ahead and you can watch a video of all the new beta features that they've got in this. Just a reminder, this is a beta program or a beta application so there may be some kinks in it and some things that they're working on. Um, I can tell you from running it that I have not run into any significant issues as of yet. Um, but here you have your their download now page. Uh, you have a beta warning uh, telling you that it is a beta program again. Uh, here we have the two different downloads or three different download options. Uh, the first one we have here is a 64-bit UEFI boot and legacy BIOS compatible. Then over here we have a 32-bit version that is legacy BIOS only. Um, we're going to be doing the 64-bit with UEFI boot option today um, that's what i have on this computer so that's what we're going to be showing you so i had a little bit more luck doing the direct download i have bad luck with torrents i don't know if i'm just cursed or whatnot but torrents never seem to go very fast for me so i went ahead and did the direct download i've already spared you guys the pain and suffering of having to slowly watch that download bar go so here we have it uh, we have the remix os for pc 64 bit already got that downloaded and it downloads a zip file for you. In that zip file, there are three different files. We have a how to launch Remix OS for PC text file. We have a Remix OS for PC 64-bit uh, beta string of letters and numbers uh, ISO. And then we have the Remix, o Remix OS installation tool, same string of numbers and letters as the other one. Um, that's an executable. So I've already extracted that here to the desktop. On the desktop, we have the Remix OS installer, and then we also have the ISO file. So we're gonna select the installer here. Uh, pops up a window, installation steps, under ISO file, choose the Remix OS for PC ISO file. It's going to come up here and hit browse. And nice and easy, we got that right there. Hit open. Under type, choose USB drive for USB flash drive installation or choose hard disk for hard disk installation. So we're doing this to a flash disk. I've already got that flash drive plugged in right here. So we're going to select the USB drive. It automatically pulls in the drive letter. Uh, if you had multiple drives, it would have additional letters in there. And then under drive, choose the drive to install the OS on. Press OK to proceed with installation. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. All the data on your USB drive will be erased. Please back up your data before proceeding. This drive has already been wiped, so there's nothing on it. Hit OK. And there we go. So you're going to see that it flies through the first couple of files here pretty quickly. We are going to go ahead and uh, come back after the break. This last file, the system.img, takes anywhere from about two minutes to 20 minutes. Uh, I've had it on average about two to three minutes being uh, what I see with most installations. So we'll be right back after the break. All right, so here we go. That was three minutes later and we are completely done. So it says after rebooting, uh, well, installation complete, reboot is the next step. So after rebooting, select the USB boot option in the BIOS boot menu and do you want to reboot now? So we're gonna go ahead and start that process. So the first thing you're gonna get here once you've rebooted is you're gonna have a resident mode, all your data and apps are saved, or a guest mode, no data will be saved after each session. Uh, normally I would do the resident mode, however, this is the first boot, and the first boot takes forever on a resident mode. Um, guest mode is a very quick one, and we're gonna try that today just so we can show you what we've got. So there you have the Android x86 logo, uh, swaps over to the, or switches over to the Remix OS. And that'll flash at you a couple of times here. And in a few short minutes, we will be uh, running Remix OS.
So rather than turning off the camera and uh, waiting, I should have just left it on that time. It took a total of, like, I think it was 13 seconds after I hit the stop button. Uh, so as you can see, the guest mode starts up very quickly. So here you have your language. You select that, hit next. Uh, the user agreement, I've already read this, and you guys know how user agreements are. We read them, but we don't really, wink, wink. Um, but yes, I actually did read most of this one. So then you hit your next, and then it'll search for your Wi-Fi networks going to go ahead and skip this one because I don't need Wi-Fi for this part. Uh, setup is complete. Your Remix OS is ready. So then you start it up and you have Remix OS. So Remix OS, it is an awesome platform. It has an awful lot of really cool features. One of the first things I'm going to point out is uh, it does not come with the Play Store. So down here you have your little Windows start menu. Um, it is a app drawer, as you would see in Android, and it does show the different apps that are available. Right now I'm very limited to what was on it when we installed it. So these are your stock apps that come with it. Um, it does not have the Google Play Store. It does support the Google Play Store, but you have to jump through a couple of hoops to get it there. Now those hoops are very small and it's not a lot, and we'll have a separate video on how to install the Google Play Store. Um, you do need to be running resident mode to install it or it will install and just wipe itself every time and it requires a reboot to get it to save permanently. Um, so we're not going to do that in this video. But here you have a couple of different options. There are the items in the app drawer. There's also a taskbar here. You have your uh, window switcher so you can pull up multiple windows here. And so you can bounce back and forth between them just like you can in Windows. And if you want to, you have the ability to drag your windows around you can do the whole snap feature i don't not all apps support it but you can snap it over to the right or to the left like you can it was introduced i believe in windows vista or windows 7 uh, so you do have that there you can have multiple windows all open at one time they come with their own stock internet browser uh, no internet right now because i don't have the wi-fi set up uh, you do have the stock mx player which if you aren't using i would totally recommend it uh, mx player is my favorite uh, video player out there. Uh, so up here in the top corner, you do see that there are the minimize, maximize, and the close buttons, just as you would have in Windows. So you can minimize it, come back down to the taskbar, and you can pull it up again. You can maximize it, and you can close it. Uh, down here in the bottom right, I don't remember what they call this in Windows, but they also have it down here. So you have your little notification center. Uh, you can pull up an on-screen keyboard or change your input method. Tells you what your battery power is, tells you if there's available Wi-Fi, and then you have your calendar and your clock. Over here, you have your notification center. Uh, if I had notifications, if I'd set this up to have emails or alarm clocks and things, those would all show here. And over here, you have your minimize all. Or So these are like your... Um, Android key, so this is your back and this is your home screen, so this will take you to your home every time. Or your back button and it will do the close or back a window or whatever you need to do there. So those are just a couple of quick highlights on Remix OS. We'll do a much more involved uh, review video of what's all available in Remix OS and show you some of the options and some of the cool features that it has. Again, we're going to do another video on how to install the Play Store as well. You can look for that here in the near future. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Uh, hit us up on our blog at epicdroid.com or follow us on Twitter and uh, leave us some questions there at rwoko12.com or at epicdroidblog. I'm sorry, not at rwoko12.com. The Twitter is at rwoko12 and the blog is at epicdroidblog. Uh, so you can find both of those on Twitter, and we look forward to hearing from you guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And hope to have more videos for you guys here in the near future. Thanks, and have an awesome day.